Hello, I'm Chris Mallet, Power Engineers, and today I'll be talking about distributed energy resource planning using Homer software tools. The software tools of Homer Grid and Homer Pro are financial DER planning tools that take into account financial considerations and power requirements for a project. Examples of this include optimum size of a PV array, ideal capacity for a battery storage system, or perhaps just comparing the costs and value of different DER solutions. Here are variable inputs that can go into a DER planning model. First, DER sources. These contain traditional sources such as solar PV, wind turbines, energy storage, and traditional generation like probably natural gas or backup diesel generation. We can also look at fuel cells or geothermal, which might also have a thermal byproduct that goes into a combined heat and power aspect of the project that we can use to fuel thermal loads. If a grid connection is present, we need to consider utility tariffs, both in consumption charges in dollars per kilowatt hour, as well as demand charges in peak dollars per kilowatt. If we can export power to the grid, we need to know the cell rate and limits of that export capability back to the grid. Loading is time of use for every hour of the day, every day of the year. We can model standard residential, commercial, industrial profiles, as well as log data for every hour of the year from the existing application. A project lifetime might be 20 to 30 years. Over that time, we need to uh, look into discount rates, inflation, PV de degradation, as well as potential load growth over that time. We have associated costs with the project, input capital costs, ongoing operation and maintenance, and replacement or refurbished costs, such as replacing or refurbishing batteries over time. And finally, incentives, upfront tax credits and demand response programs available from the utility. All of this works together to find our lowest net present cost of our DER solution. 